A song based on a very old French folk tune. It describes the history and career of an eminent European political figure over about the past 80 years or so. It's called All Gaul. <laughs> it will be sung in three parts. <laughs> All the blessings of a classical education. <laughs> Ferrera Jacques, Ferrera Jacques, I'm all right, I'm all right, Sonne Lumiere, Sonne Lumiere, Vive de Gaulle. This old man, he played one, he played knick-knack at Verdun, Cognac, Armagnac, Burgundy and Bone, this old man came rolling home. <laughs> This old man, World War Two, he told Churchill what to do. Three French general crosses of Lorraine, he came rolling home again. This old man, he played trois, vive la France, la France et moi. Jim Crack governments, call me if you please, Colombe les deux églises. This old man, he played four, choose de Gaulle or civil war. Come back, President, governed by decree. Referendum, wee, wee, wee. Now this old man, he played five. Francis, say five, still alive. Plastic, Pompidou, sing the Marseillaise. Algerie, n'est pas Francais. Now this old man, he played six. France and England, they don't mix. Italy, Benelux, Germany and me. That's my market recipe. This old man, seven and eight, you can count me out of NATO. Farewell, Pentagon, find another land. Goodbye, McNamara's band. <laughs> this old man, nine and ten, he'll play Mick till Lord knows when. Cognac, Armagnac, Burgundy and Bone. This old man thinks he's St. Joe. <laughs> Down with the French-speaking Walloons and freedom for Flanders, that's what I say. <laughs> that's where my forebears came from. Well, three of them, anyway. <laughs> well, let's, uh, let's leave the fantasy world of the news now, with all its fabulous fictional characters, like uh, You Know Who, of the Southeast uh, Asia Treaty Organization, <laughs> and our beloved Prime Minister and your own great president, who shall be nameless. <laughs> Our problem is trying to think of something ridiculous enough that one of them doesn't immediately go and do it. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to real life now, to the things we see around us every day, like the sky at night. Swan has a song on this very subject. It's a short song, but nonetheless nauseating. Oh. <laughs> this song is called My Horoscope. Jupiter's passed through Orion and come into conjunction with Mars. Saturn is wheeling through infinite space to its preordained place in the stars. And I gaze at the planets in wonder, at the trouble and time they expend, all to warn me to be careful in dealings involving a friend. <laughs> Marvellous. Not much scope, but a lot of horror. <laughs> well, what is your zodiacal sign, anyway? Oh, my dear chap, I'm Libra. Libra, son of the librarian, are you? <laughs> You're absolutely right, you know. There's all sorts of marvels going on in the heavens up there. And with all these space probes and radio telescopes, they are learning more and more every day about the universe in which we live. In fact, uh, a famous English astronomer, Professor Fred Hoyle, uh, recently came out with an entirely new theory of the universe. It's most interesting. Apparently one day, Fred Hoyle was just browsing through Einstein's theory of relativity, <laughs> as one does. And uh, he suddenly spotted a mistake, you see, and he said, Hello? Hello, hello, hello? Albert's got an arbor in minus sign here, sticking out like a sore thumb. <laughs> well, that makes a load of nonsense and all his theory. And now Fred Hoyle is talking about changing the law of gravity. And they were very worried about that when we were in Australia, I can tell you. <laughs> gravity is uh, 
pretty important to them. It's less important in the old days, of course, when the world was flat. Uh, in the time of Ptolemy and Archimedes, Archimedes, one of the very few scientists, astronomers, to have this obsession about personal freshness. Uh, so much so, if you remember, he was always rushing about taking baths and shouting, Eureka! At <laughs> All right, I'll tell you why you weren't asked to the forum. You have bad breath. <laughs> what a detestable girl that is, isn't it? Why do you put up with her? I don't know. The fact, uh, fact that the world is, is um, what, uh, round. Yes, round. We know it's round. We've been round it. Yes. Swan took some amazing photographs of the world from an altitude of five feet. <laughs> when we developed them, it showed conclusively that certain parts are black with blurry edges and the remainder of white with crosses on it. <laughs> the fact that the, um, the world is round, or rather an oblate spheroid, you know, like an orange when you sat on it, <laughs> not too hard, my dear. This was not discovered until very much later by a famous uh, Polish or Dutch uh, astronomer, uh, according to whether you accept the Treaty of Utrecht or not. <laughs> and uh, this man's name was uh, Kopernikus. Now, Kopernikus proved this uh, conclusively in a simple experiment that you may carry out for yourself. Um, if you're by the sea and you stand on a key, a key, uh, a dock there, and you watch a ship sailing away from you to the horizon, you will notice that first the hull disappears, and then the bridge, and finally the mast. And that shows that the surface of the earth is curved, or that the ship sunk. <laughs> We have an animal song now. I was taking compass bearings for the Ordnance Survey by an army training camp on Salisbury Plain. I had packed up my theodolite, was calling it a day, when I heard a voice that sang a sad refrain. And this is what it sang. Oh, my darling armadillo, let me tell you of my love. Listen to my armadillo round the lay. Pillow on my pillow, underneath this weeping willow. Be my darling armadillo all the day. I was somewhat disconcerted by this curious affair. For a single armadillo you will own. On Salisbury Plain in summer is comparatively rare, and a pair of them is practically unknown. Drawn by that mellow solo, there I followed on my bike to discover what these armadillo lovers would be like. Oh, my darling armadillo, how delightful it would be if for us those silver wedding bells would chime. Let the orange blossom billow, if you'll only say, I will. Oh, be my darling armadillo all the time. Then I saw them in a hollow by a yellow muddy bank, an armadillo singing to an armor-plated tank. <laughs> Should I tell it? Gaunt and rusting with a willow tree above, this abandoned on maneuvers, is the object of your love. I left it to its singing, cycled home without a pause. Never tell someone the truth about the one that he adores. On the breeze that follows sunset, I could hear that sad refrain, singing willow, 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 down the way. And I seem to hear it still. Oh, vive l'amour, vive l'armadillo. Be my darling armadillo all the day. Be my darling armadillo all the day.